The Great Base Initiative, Chapter 2, Lesson 10. The serve, the first shot, the most important shot, sometimes the only shot in a point. Mark's going to give you a picture of the serve. Let's hit a few serves, Mark, to the ad court. He's going to go slow to fast. He's going to breathe. It's going to be grip, swing, body, and the toss. And one more. Okay, now let me go through the word pitcher method for the serve. First of all, I'm going to stand on a skateboard. I'm going to line it up to the deuce court. And I'm going to line up to the ad court. Front foot's at a 45 degree angle. Back foot's parallel to the baseline. I go in step to heel, and now on the skateboard, I go a little bit more than shoulder width apart. Now I want to have bathroom scale one, bathroom scale two. I'm going to start with all my weight forward on bathroom scale one. And now I rotate and shift backwards on my second bathroom scale. The knee's turned in. Now when the knee turns in, the hip can turn in. I'm going to coil like a baseball player taking the ball out of a glove. I'm going to take the throw to the racket and put it right over the wrist. We call that handcuffs. I'm going to keep my hands together in this position. I'm going to hang on to the racket with a continental grip like I'm tapping a hammer to a nail. I'm going to be very, very loose. My arms are going to be like a puppet on a string. No muscles. Go spaghetti. I'm going to hang on to the ball like I'm hanging on to a glass of water in this position. So I shift my weight. Bathroom scale one, bathroom scale two. Now I'm going to put my racket in what we call the cobra position this way. I'm going to be very loose with my wrist. And I wait on my back foot. I'm going to hang on to the ball until shoulder, shoulder level. We call that a letter J movement. We're going to toss on our first serve to one o'clock. Second serve, we just come slightly to the left as a right-hander. We have to reverse that as a lefty. I'm going to keep my eyes at my contact point. Right? Initially, I'm to the bounce. I'm to the target. And now I keep my eyes at the contact point, which is way out in front. The motion, I'm going to start to go forward from my shoulder. In the opposite and equal reaction, my elbow goes back. So I go from the cobra position up here to the salute position, but it's way away from my head. Now the comb the hair action, way away from my head. And I'm talking on the telephone, way away from my head. Now the racket's going to go from an in to out movement, twisting upward like I'm giving the giant the high five. And I'm going to have the power X. I keep that left arm up. I stay sideways. Now initially, young players, we want them to work off a platform stance where they're going to just swing and then step. For additional body rotation and what most of the pros do, Mark has advanced to that movement. And again, there's not that many advanced techniques in tennis, but Mark uses a pinpoint. He turns in this position. Now for additional body rotation, he brings his right foot into the instep of his left foot in this position. And then you go in with your left, left foot first. Now the serve is a throwing motion. Mark, just follow me. Mark's going to just throw the ball. Grab a ball, Mark. He's going to just have the palm down. The ball comes between his elbow and his head, and he has this movement, making the power X. End up on balance. Now what he's going to do is he's going to have a low toss. He's going to have the throwing motion with his right hand, and he's going to do this. Practicing the serve. Now I take two tennis balls and I keep the tennis balls together. I'm going to hang on to the ball in my left hand in this position. Now I'm going to go up with a toss. I'm going to hit it with the ball in my right hand this way. All right, so Mark, if you try that. All right, now what you can do is you can just throw both balls. For young players, we want them to hang a string from the ceiling where they can just program their swing. And once they program their swing, then to bring the toss into the pitcher. So I'm going to turn, I'm going to toss, and I'm going to throw this way. Now the baseball trick, using a sock. Just swinging the sock in this position. Now. What you want to do initially is just pinch the sock up to the top, 
Now Mark's going to try to serve with the sock. And he'll really have to keep his body balanced. He'll really have to be accurate with his toss. Okay, very good. Now a couple other drills. We have players face forward and just turn this way. In this position. Now we have them get on the skateboard and turn. We have players toss out in front and actually snap down. We'll tell players to get in the third base position, like a baseball player like this. We'll be in this position and snap down. We want players to repeat the movement over and over again. Mark, if you just show us the serve from the baseline one more time. He's going to go slow to fast. He's going to load on the back foot. Now keep in mind, with the continental grip on the serve and the overhead, he's going to swing away from his target. On all shots, you're actually blind to your target. You're looking at the contact point. Serve and overhead's the same. You're looking at the contact point, but you're also blind to your target. That's some points on the serve. 